has the divorce rate gone up during COVID-19? So speaking from my standpoint, and I have not reviewed the data and statistics and, and looked at different clerks figures and looked around the United States, I haven't done any of that. I'm just saying from my standpoint, uh, I think it has. I think, I think the divorce rate has gone up. Um, at least people reaching out um, to get more information and to either proceed forward with something that they were either thinking about previously um, or they've never thought about it, but now they've realized that it's, this is a necessity and something that they need to do either for themselves, their family, or for their own future. So uh, what are some reasons why? Um, well, you know, when you're locked in a home with your uh, significant other, sometimes people realize they don't like that person. It's one thing. Um, so two would be, um, I, I think one that is, is pretty apparent, uh, affairs. So extramarital affairs coming to light during COVID-19 has been something that we've seen um, more of because it's harder to hide an extramarital affair when you're in the house with your spouse, in the house with your spouse. When you're in the house with your spouse as much as you currently are right now, so uh, that's that's another reason um, that it's that it's driving up uh, the divorce rates and people that are looking to leave relationships because they realize that maybe they had suspected for a while, but now they realize, oh hey, you know, uh, she leaves at this time every day and goes over to here, and I don't do this, and you know, turns off location or whatever whatever however you know people find ways to to do it now especially if they're working from home or whatever uh, and sometimes people are just being very brazen about it and saying yeah this has been going on you know deal with it um, or you know uh, catching uh, the other side in the act you know that, that that's something that can happen as well but um, and then sometimes we're seeing after things get filed you know not just with our cases but you know, with others as well, that things come to light, you know, and people realize, oh, okay, um, I guess they were um, doing what either I had expected that they were doing, or some people had absolutely no idea. So another reason is not just, you know, first is, you know, they realize that the person that they married is not exactly the person they want to stay with, and then obviously extramarital affairs. Uh, third is, uh, I mean, I think it's pretty clear, and we'll lump it together, of uh, alcohol and, and drug abuse and dependency. So people are realizing that um, it, either it's escalated during the pandemic um, or it's been there and now it's out in the open. And they've realized, oh, okay, you know, my spouse is, you know, shooting up heroin, you know, with their uh, Cheerios. Uh, so that's... That's a little bit of a problem. Um, so again, um, these are additional reasons. Obviously, mental health. Mental health has been, you know, rough on everyone. Um, you know, this this has not been an easy time period in 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 in, in the world's uh, history uh, with everything going on. So mental health and a lot of issues are, you know, uh, exacerbating. Uh, mental health issues and bringing other things to light and sometimes um, putting people on a little bit more of an edge um, and other vices such as gambling um, you know that that sometimes it may have been able to be hidden before this and it's less able to hide you know a gambling habit um, or spending habit um, so there's there's a lot of different things that have that have come out that we've seen that just have kind of been pushed to the surface uh, because of you know what's going on now so do I think that there has been an escalation in it absolutely is it going to continue I, I have no idea so I'm just you know basically stating what I've seen as a Florida divorce and family law attorney who's been practicing uh, for a while and, and, and seeing different trends usually this starts to go towards our holiday season when people are a little more uh, likely to possibly think about reconciliation or you know you know let's maybe put things on hold for a little bit and we're seeing a lot of 
nope, <laughs> we're going straight forward with it and we're going to move forward because again, also travel, vacations, things of that nature, you know, it's, it's changed dramatically and some of it is just completely, you know, it'd be hit under the rug and, you know, let's, let's stay together through Christmas, make it happy. And then the first credit bill, credit card bills come in, in January and then boom, you know, our office gets a call and, you know, it starts back up in kind of mid January where we start receiving, you know, um, you know, kind of a very high, you know, amount of calls, you know, around that time. So, uh, basically what's going to happen over the next couple months, who knows? Um, but you know, historically over the last, you know, three, four, five, six months. Yeah. I would, I would definitely say that the, um, divorce rate is escalating.